Let's check in on the war in Ukraine. Video released by the Ukrainian army on Wednesday shows soldiers approaching Russian positions on the front line near the eastern city of Bakhmut. Soldiers are seen walking through a wooded area, approaching and inspecting abandoned dugouts along Russian defense line. The soldiers are then seen approaching another dugout, firing shots and urging Russian soldiers to surrender. The voice of a Ukrainian soldier recorded on video is heard telling Russian soldiers to disarm, take off their protective gear. The soldier then asks Russian soldier about his wounds and is seen bandaging the Russian soldier's leg. The Russian Ministry of Defense has not commented on the video. Last week, Ukraine said its troops had advanced by more than a kilometer near Bakhmut. Russian accounts of fighting in Bakhmut uh, differs from that of Ukraine. In the meantime, two people have been killed, seven more injured in an apparent missile attack by Russia on the Ukrainian city of Zaporizhia. Ukrainian officials had earlier reported three deaths. Interior Minister Iho Kelimenko said on the Telegram messaging app, fortunately, one person was resuscitated. Doctors were assisted by police paramedics at the scene. Although reporters have been able to confirm the location of the videos, Zaporizhia, Ukraine, they were not able to independently confirm the date the video was filmed. President Vladimir Zelensky says Ukraine and Germany have agreed on the supply of additional Patriot air defense missile systems for Kyiv. The president made this known this e in his evening address, saying today there is good news from Germany, exactly what we agreed with Olaf Scholz. There are additional Patriot systems. Thank you very much, Olaf. It is necessary for the defense of our people against Russian terror. Thank you, Germany, Chancellor, personally, for fulfilling this agreement. It will definitely save thousands of lives of our people. This will definitely bring us closer to creating a full-fledged air shield for Ukraine. This will help people, cities, villages. Earlier yesterday, Germany announced its decision to ship two more Patriot launchers to Ukraine. To another story on the devastation in Ukraine, a child has been reportedly killed while two more people injured after a Ukrainian artillery shell hit a two-story building in the Donetsk region. That region is according to the Russian-appointed head of the region, Denis Pushlin. The Donetsk region in eastern Ukraine had been partly under the control of pro-Russian separatists since 2014 until Moscow announced last year that it was annexing the province. Russia, which early last year sent its troops to Ukraine for what it calls a special military operation, says Ukrainian forces shell the uh, Russian-controlled parts of the Donetsk region on a daily basis. While separately, the Interfax news agency cited Russian-appointed officials in Ukraine's southern uh, Zaporizhia region as saying four civilians had been killed and two wounded by Ukrainian shelling in the village of Trudov about nine miles east of the town of Tokmak. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian police has recorded its officers evacuating civilians and their pets from the southeastern frontline town of Vilda. In a press statement accompanying the video, which was released Wednesday, the police said that heavy Russian shelling delayed the evacuation process and that some shells targeted the evacuation vehicles. The video showed a civilian in an undisclosed location with her cat after a ride with the officers in an armored vehicle out of Vilda. Over the winter, Russian forces repeatedly assaulted Vilda with Ukraine, saying it had inflicted significant losses to them.